Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Kang the Conqueror uh, in standard difficulty. So we've got Hulk and Aggression. My plan is to try and rush through all of Kang's stages because each time we do, his uh, scheme changes. So we hopefully don't have to worry about thwarting. Uh, we'll see how that goes, though. Uh, so we have the setup here. So Kang's arrival, we have to... It says here, uh, set each Kang, if it focuses, set each Kang 2 and Kang 3 and Kang's Dominion side scheme set aside. Remove, remove each player's uh, obligation cards from the game and shuffle the encounter deck. So I've got all those here. There's the Kang Dominions. There's Kang 3. There's all the Kang 2s. Uh, and there's our obligation. Just give the counter deck a shuffle, even though we've already removed the obligation from it. Advance to stage one. So, when revealed, deal each player an encounter card. And this threats out at seven, starts with zero. Kane the Conqueror has a scheme of one, attack of two, and he comes in with tough. He has a forced interrupt. When Kang attacks you, either place one threat on the main scheme, or he gets plus two for this attack. And he has, when defeated, advance the main scheme to stage two at the end of the phase. And I should be able to go over here on Hulk. So we'll draw our five cards. We've got Yarnborn, Banner's Laboratory, Mockingbird, Clobber, and Power of Aggression. Interesting. Going to Mulligan Banner's Lab. And draw a card. Got another clobber. All right. We'll go with this. We'll use our experimental research ability to draw a card and discard a card. We have a crushing blow. All right. We'll keep that. We'll throw away a clobber. Flip up to Hulk. We'll use a power of aggression for a clobber, which would be our first card we play this. Uh, this round, so deal three damage to an enemy. If this is the first card you have played this round, return this card to your hand. So we'll do three damage to knock off the tough. We'll then spend three resources to bring in Mockingbird. She will stun Kang. She'll attack for one. Taking down to 11, and then Hulk will attack for 3. Taking him down to 8. And we're ready. Draw 4 cards. We have Spider-Man, Counter-Attack, Thunderclap, and a Limitless Stamina. Alright. We get 1 threat on the main scheme. Uh, he would go to attack to be stunned. And get our other encounter cards. So we've got two to resolve. So we have Temporal Shield attached to Kang. There's a forced interrupt. When Kang is attacked, discard Temporal Shield, prevent all damage from this attack, and deal one damage to the attacker. And then we have Caught Off Guard. Discard upgrade or support you control. If no cards are scarred this way, this card gains Surge. Always get Caught Off Guard, but nothing to discard, so we'll get Surge. Rampage. So. This comes in fourth threat. Brings an acceleration icon into play. Uh, as when defeated, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion into play, engage with the player who defeated this scheme. All right. So, we're going to spend three resources to bring in. Miles Morales Spider-Man. Grab a response. When you play Miles from your hand, choose either Thwart or Attack. He gets plus two to the chosen power until the end of the phase. We'll choose Thwart. So he thwarts for three off this. And then Mockingbird will thwart for one. To get rid of it. So we discard cards from top of the encounter deck until Min is discarded and we put it into play engaged with us. So there we go. He comes in, he has Quick Strike, so he hits us for two. Ancient Warrior there. 
We will then attack for three with Hulk to knock this guy out. And we'll flip down. Draw our hand size of five, right, counter attack, drop kick, sub will leap, unstoppable force, and a thunderclap. That mouse can go away. All right, so over here we get, this is gone, so just one threat on the main scheme. Kang's gonna scheme for one plus nothing. Get our encounter card. More tech. All right. Future weapon attached to Kang. Uh, when Kang uh, attacks, the attack gains overkill. If the attack damages a hero, that hero is stunned after this attack, discard future weapon. That's not great. Okay. We're going to flip up. We will attack for two with Spider Man, which, when Kang is attacked, discard Temporal Shield, prevent all that damage, and then deal one damage to the attacker. So it goes back on Spider Man, knocks him out. Uh, we will then spend three resources, all physical, for a drop kick. Deal four damage to the enemy if you pay for it using our physical resources. Stun the enemy and draw a card. Knock him down to four. He gets stunned. We draw a card. Skilled strike. Actually, going to use the skilled strike to pay for a counter attack. So, maximum player, after you take damage from enemy attack, we can discard counter attack and deal an equal amount of damage to the enemy. We'll then attack for three. Taking Kang down to one. And we're ready. Draw four cards. We have Crushing Blow, Hulk Smash, Combat Training, and Strength. Okay, Kang's turn. We get one threat on the main scheme. He would go to attack us, but he's stunned. Get our encounter card. Just another rampage. This is all back again. That'll be that. We're going to attack for one with Mockingbird. She will get knocked out. The king is now defeated, which means uh, we advance the main scheme to stage two at the end of the phase. We are going to use strength to put in a combat training. We now have plus one attack. We're going to flip down and we're going to recover back up to 18. We're going to hold on to Crushing Blow and Hulk Smash and ready. Drop our hand size, another three cards. We have a limitless stamina, drop kick, and boundless rage. It's the end of the phase, so we advance the main scheme to stage two. So. Okay, we place one acceleration token here for each side scheme in play, then discard each side scheme, so this goes away. But this is now permanent. Uh, each player reveals a random stage 3A in turn order, and then remove any unused stage 3s from the game. So here's all our stage 3s, four of these. I'll just shuffle them up without looking, and we'll just use the top one. An XR rule of fate, so... We create our own uh, game area because we've been separated through time. If we had other players, we'd all be separated. 
um, uh, place this scheme in it. So we'll just put it up over here. And we have to add Kang Iron Lad to the game area and deal ourselves an encounter card. So he comes in with re Retaliate and Tough. This starts with one threat. They're not in play. This is gone because we defeated that version of Kang. Okay, there's a force in drop. When uh, Accelerate Token would be placed on another scheme, we place it here instead. Put that there to mark that's permanent. All right, so we're at the start of the villain's phase. So this goes up by one. Uh, Iron Lad's going to scheme on us for one. Oh, sorry, and he should have a hit points of 18. Gains us for one plus this card gains an extra boost for each obligation in your player. We don't have any, so it's just the two. We get another encounter card. It's got pinned down. So when revealed, we place two threat here for each obligation play. There are none, but it's going to block the main scheme from being thwarted. And we got another future weapon. Just great. It's what we always wanted. Okay. We're going to use our experimental research to draw a card and discard a card. We have Machine Man. Flip up. We will, well, we'll attack for four to knock off the tough. We get retaliated for one. We'll spend three resources. One, two, three. For a drop kick, deal four damage to an enemy. Uh, if you paid any physical resources, which I believe we did. Yep. We stun them. And draw a card. And we get retaliated for another one. Of course, we get limitless strength now. Well, we'll use our limitless strength to do a crushing blow. Deal four more damage. And take another retaliate. Already. Draw four cards. We have a clobber, hand cannon, Hulk smash, and a movable object. All right. We get another threat on here. He would attack us, but he's stunned. Get our encounter card. Kang attacks us. That's not great. All right, so we'll just take it. He's coming in for four. Plus nothing. Uh, so we take four. He stuns us. We'll use our counterattack. So after you take damage from an enemy attack, this guy counterattack deal equal to damage to enemy. Because we're stunned, we'll just remove that. It's gone. And then we get our, wait, that was our encounter card, wasn't it? Yep. It's back to us. All right, we will. Hulk smash for 14. Uh, so when defeated, remove uh, example of fate from the game. Uh, 
at the end of the phase, join another game, er game area. So we will actually flip down. And end the phase. Draw a hand size of five. We have a little bit of strength. Drop kick. Unstoppable force. Limitless strength. And a skilled strike. All right, so we join the main game area. So um, if you cannot join a game area unless there's no other Galloway mix. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want to be fighting Kang either. I know why you're trying to interrupt me. <laughs> so since Mixie's head's in the way. Uh, when exposure token would be placed on a scheme place here in Sebida, players cannot join this area unless there are no other game areas remaining. When all players have joined this game, advance to stage 4A. So advance to 4A. Okay, reveal, reveal, Kang 3. Comes in with tough. Doesn't have retaliate anymore, at least. And 20 hit points. Uh, we reveal each face down Kang's Dominion under the stage, but we don't have any. I revealed each player searches the encounter deck, discard pile, and set aside area for their Nemesis minion and puts it into play and engage with them. So we'll bring out Abomination. Right, and this is all still going, so we're going to get two throughout the main scheme. Kang is going to scheme for two plus two is four, and another two from Abomination. Taking us to, all right, this game's about to go pear shaped with <laughs> this going on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. Come here. All right. I think Mixie knows something uh, about how this is all about to, about to go down. All right. I believe we get our encounter card we're up to. Show the past. Reveal your set aside Nemesis minion, put it into play, engage you. Reveal your set aside Nemesis side scheme. Put a play, shuffle rest of the nemesis. All right, so this is all again coming out now. I think Abomination's coming for the win here. Um, and if your nemesis minion did not enter the game this way, which they did not, they're already out, the card gains surge. And we surge into. Card time stream. Players can't trigger alter ego action abilities on obligations. Remember, you'll each player must either discard one random card from the hand or place two threat here. We'll just place the threat there. All right. This does not look great. All right, we flip up. We attack for four using a skilled strike to give a six to knock out Abomination. His total destruction should have two threat on it. We're going to spend one resource for a limit of stamina ready. Then we'll attack for four to knock off the tough. We'll then use a drop kick. To deal four damage to an enemy if you pay for it using physical, stun the enemy and draw a card. Draw a card. Gang is stunned. Another skilled strike, that's not going to help us. And we're ready. And then we draw four cards. Just going to deck us out. I think we all know what's about to happen there. Nope, Mixie's back. Okay, so we get two threat on here. We're now at nine out of 10. Sorry, we're at 10 out of 10, aren't we? I can't calculate. 
which is going to be game. All right, so there we have it. Hulk's uh, first defeat on the channel. I feel like we're kind of on the right track. I don't know, maybe I should be looking at doing justice and playing the long game against Kang. Uh, if you have any suggestions, you want to see me fight Kang again, let me know. Um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, Hulk, unfortunately not the strongest one there is today. I think he did all right, all things considered. Um, it's just fortunate things kind of got a hand with the schemes and all that sort of stuff. But uh, in terms of trying to deal damage, we were getting there, just not quite all the way uh, on that third stage there with Kang. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.